Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we are here today doing the <clears throat> Iron Man 6 competition. Uh, so let's get this started. I, I'm not an official competitor, but I will play along. Uh, let's do this. So <clears throat> apparently it is seed 18, or sorry, seed 2180101. And we have to set this to medium. So it goes all the way down, medium, whatever the default settings for medium. And it adjusted all that. Okay. <clears throat> uh, we'll call this uh, Iron Man Season 6. Let's capitalize that. <laughs> just, just because. And let's uh, put a space between Season and 6. Yeah, there we go. Iron Man Season 6. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. Let's go. So the rules are can't smash any red POIs, red name POIs, unless it's the mission. Um, <clears throat> if you die, you're out of the competition. And you must post each video by the end of the day on Wednesday. So <clears throat> I'm going to have to post this pretty quick. I just found out about the contest today. Okay, so let's steer towards the water. Hmm. Oh, there's an old base. So that's the survivalist camp. I don't think I'm going to quite get around these mountains, am I? If I... What about if I... No, no, I don't, I'm not going to make it around the mountains. <clears throat> that's okay. Found in lots of resources. That's good. And let's do this. Why not? Grab our stuff. Move everything into your inventory. Yeah, yeah. It's sort of a... I'm not really sure what the... I haven't done the Robison protocol, so... We'll do it together. Open inventory. And... Put down all this stuff into my bar. Okay. Med kit. Emergency ration? Why? Okay. <clears throat> uh, place constructor? I'll do that later. And I did get everything out of here. Okay, let's go. Now we have 24 hours of game time <clears throat> to get what we need to do before predators start spawning. So, ooh, let's put my jetpack on. And we're just going to go down here. Watch me die from falling down a cliff, right? Right? <clears throat> that would be pretty epic. Now that... Okay, iron, good enough. So... I'm not going to be attacking any critters right now. What I want to do is... Basically, if there's stuff I can pick, I'll pick it. And... Gotten anything to pick yet? Lots of deposits, so iron, promethium, copper. We have dudes down here and no berries. Okay, okay. <clears throat> well, let's check out the old base then. Uh, now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stay long here. I'm just gonna. Now it wants us to do a bunch of stuff. <sighs> Place constructor, access constructor, motivate, get motive, per personal container, activate base, basic farming, activate grow light, construction site, gather resources, set waypoint, crafting, solar. You know what? I'm, I don't have time for that crap. I'm just going to grab this stuff out of here. <clears throat> and that's probably all there is. I'm just going to check out to see if there's anything else. They have a personal cargo box. That's it. How about... Uh, and that's it? That's it. They don't have an ammo box. There's nothing else. Grow light. Okay, well, 
<clears throat> that's it. They've got uh, two solar panels, panels running this thing. Okay. Whatever. Let's go. So I'm just going to keep everything on me right now. <clears throat> now the plan is to... I should probably go get a bunch of promethium, iron, copper, and where's that silicone? It's right up there. And then I got to find myself some place to make a base because I'm not going to use that uh, survival camp as a base. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to be smashing rocks and picking stuff on the way. So right click to select stone removal. And... Wow, medium start gives you 10 biofuel to start. Wow, that's huge. I usually do hard starts, so this should, this will be a little different for me. I might actually have difficulty with it. Who knows? <clears throat> Just feather my jumping to try and... Another thing too is if you just hold down your jump key, you'll climb pretty much anything. Are these? I don't even know what those are. Can they be? No, they just instant. Okay, so they're just decoration. <clears throat> they're just useless decoration. Okay. So we've got Promethium right here. Oh, we start with a scanner. Oh, multiplayer, you don't. Okay, so that's awesome. Uh. And it looks like there's right underneath me. So I'm just going to back off a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to call up my drone by hitting F5. And we're going to select mining. <clears throat> like I say, I'm going to tab in, tab out to get my, uh, my radar back. And I don't really need a lot of everything to start. <clears throat> I'm basically looking for about a hundred ore of, of the three basic types, copper, iron, and silicone. <clears throat> and 163 promethium right off the bat. <clears throat> hmm. Let's try and get another nugget really quick. We're doing pretty good on time. Now supposedly the nuggets with the thicker blue outline are the closer ones to you, so that's what I'm going for, the thicker blue outline. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a really bad th frog in my throat. This, it seems it's really weird. As soon as I start recording, I can't breathe. I don't know what it is. It's weird. <clears throat> Another 74. So that gives us 223. That's plenty. So I don't need any more of that. Let's go grab these other resources really quick. <clears throat> oh, and there's silicone over there. Okay. Nice. I really need to pick more stuff. I need I need to level and I need I need more stuff to pick because I want it to spoil. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but that's the way it is. Okay. So let's I can't see even though I've got I can't see any. Oh, there it is. Blue outline right underneath me. Okay. <clears throat> that looks very deep. Well, let's drone it up. And yikes. Okay. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I'm like, what? There's not supposed to be any critters spawning yet. Any predators, that is. <clears throat> oh, still doesn't mean there's not going to be random drones come by and kill me, so. 
Make sure I tab out, tab back in. We're about halfway through the first day. So we've used up about a quarter of our of our freebie time. And we've only got one of the resources, but that's okay. Jeez, these are deep. These are really deep. Yeah, copper, yeah, it's way under what it said it was. I'm also going to be smashing rocks and trying to get resources as I as I go. And the crushed stone is actually I need that right now too. <clears throat> T1 drill is so slow. It used to be even worse. <clears throat> they uh, made it faster in Alpha 7. <clears throat> okay, 10 copper. Wow, that's it. 51 copper, so that's 61 copper. I still need more. 40. Oh, that's, that's not bad. 115. That'll be enough. Let's just get a quick, another nugget really quick. So what I want to do is I want to get enough to spawn in my my hover box. <clears throat> That's a little bit more expensive than a tier one hover vehicle, but it can be expanded on. It has my open box top style, um, and it's cheap enough. It's cheap enough. Okay, what are we at? 162, that equals 324, 320 after. Oh, <laughs> don't want to be falling in there. That would be game over. Okay. Because <clears throat> I would starve to death. I'd never be, I'd have to dig my way out, I guess. Okay, so we'll get this iron and then we'll run back over to the silicone and get that. Although the silicone over there uh, let's take a look at the map really quick to see. Huh. I actually want to build on the water. <clears throat> Maybe one of these islands over here. That's way over there, though. That's okay. We'll keep going on the way. Okay. Let's just do this. Let's get this. Stop the dilly dallying. Okay, so there's the ore. I gotta grab everything I can. Pick everything. Okay, so. Wow, this is a big blob of ore. Let's, um,. Get up here. Wow, that looks really close to the surface, so that could be good. <coughs> Let's try this. <coughs> this looks pretty close right here. Tab out, tab back in, get my radar back. Now, I know a lot of people just run for POIs right away, and try to take over a POI and then they don't have to do anything, they don't have to build a base, it's already built for them. I just find that to be, you know, if that's, if that's the play style people want to play, that's fine. That's, that's, however people like to play is how they should play. <clears throat> Personally, I like building my own base and multi-tooling down all the POIs to make stuff with. So, 
Not to say I haven't taken over bases before, because I have. I have, absolutely. Uh, what are we at here? That was 121, that'll be 240, so that's enough, but we are going to get some more here. <clears throat> this is kind of weird not having to worry about oxygen too, because I usually start on Omicron or a tough planet that doesn't have oxygen on it, and it's one less thing to worry about, I guess. <clears throat> oh, that was a big chunk of iron, so now we're up to, yeah, okay, so that's plenty. So don't fall down the hole, don't fall down the hole, there we go, okay. <laughs> Let's run! Get some silicone! Whoa, this is really high up. So, don't fall. And 25 degrees, 25 degrees. It's going to get colder as we get up. And as we, as night falls, it's going to get colder too. Let's climb up here. Wow, this is quite the mountain. And is it going to let me climb up sheer cliffs? So, as I, oh, is it going to do it? Come on, come on, come on. We can get up there. Come on. You can see the temperature dropping as I... Wow, there's snow up here. Okay. So I wonder if this is real snow where it would let you actually put a... Uh, a wet generator down on it. And generate stuff. Okay, so let's get over here. Come on. Come on. Don't die. Yes, I'm trying to avoid falling. Like that. Got to be really careful to have jet power, jet pack power ready. It makes crunchy noise like snow. We might be able to put wet generators down on there. That'd be interesting to see. Anyway, so there's some islands over there. <clears throat> there's a nice flattish sort of one. That might be pretty good over there. So let's head down to the silicone. Because I really, I, I want a flat island, as flat as freaking possible, and as low to the water as possible. So I'm thinking that that one. Whoa, Nelly. Okay, 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 okay. And jetpack. And jetpack. <laughs> okay, now we run. Run, 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 run. And we pick everything. We have four minutes left to get silicone and everything else we need. I'll grab all that and we can do the quest chain later. I, right now, I just got to, I got to focus on getting all my stuff that I'm going to need to create a base, to create a vehicle, to level up. Because right now, I'm only level 2. I am almost level 3. I need to get level 4. I really need level 4. <clears throat> and the only way I'm going to do that is by picking flowers. And there doesn't seem to be a lot of flowers up here. Okay, oh, there's some up here, pixie stalks. 
I want stuff that's going to rot though. So I need to get down lower and pick a whole bunch of Akua berries. Okay, I do need to get this silicone. Okay, so let's concentrate on getting this silicone really quick. like water or something with me yeah uh, it's only 25 stamina meh won't bother okay that's one of those alien insect night whoa that looked like a oh no they're brown good it's gonna say hey that looks like a gray aggressive dinosaur oh great i'm dead <clears throat> Nothing. These are nothing. These are nothing. Yeah, the brown ones are okay. They won't attack you unless you attack them. Or aggro non-aggressive creatures. Then they'll get all pissed off at you. <clears throat> okay. So let's Get down. Okay, that's pretty good there. Switch this back to mining. And about right about there. Tab in, tab out, so I can see when drones come to kill me. silicone yeah eight from smashing rocks that's not bad that's not bad so this is the last resource we need to get enough stuff together to build our base and vehicles starting vehicle anyway <clears throat> okay constantly looking at the radar constantly looking at the time I'm always looking at my temperature I'm used to looking at my oxygen too but I don't have to worry about that right now it's not to say I won't need to put out an oxygen generator because I absolutely will to make oxygen so that I can go into space because apparently this season there's going to be a space mission so we might actually have to make a CV and work somewhere. Okay, what are we at? Oops. Uh, 200. Oh, that's plenty. That's 400 silicone. Okay. So let's get out of here. Let's... Um, we need to pick flowers. We need to find flowers. We need to smash rocks. We need to get flowers. Flowers, flowers, flowers at this point. I need XP. We'll head towards the... Is that the ocean there? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Come on, flowers, flowers, flowers. And if we want daylight to last a little longer, we can we can walk west <laughs> and follow follow the sun. Now, usually these have a no. Okay, usually they have a little uh, thing to pick right beside them. 
Yeah, like this one has fiber right beside it. There we go. Level three. I can at least spawn the the HV because it's only a level three HV that I'm going to spawn. So that's good. I do want to get level four though. Level four will allow me to actually. Um, put on some gear on the HV that'll make it easier to survive with. And it's actually gear that the survival constructor can make. For those of you that didn't know, the survival constructor can actually make a whole bunch of HV parts. But it, I don't think it can make an HV starter which is kind of funny. It can make all a bunch of parts, but not the starting block. Whatever. Uh, keep going up here. Get these pixie stocks. Yeah. All that stuff. I'm not gonna worry about the wood yet. I can get wood later. And the fiber, I'll, I'll get enough fiber just for picking it to get enough ammo for the base, I think, right off the bat, so. Okay. Besides, I'm not going to be firing up the base. I'm actually just going to make a, a fence with a platform which will not trigger attack drones. So, and that'll give me a little bit of a reprieve. I'll be able to, once I get my HV spawn, then it, it'll make life a lot easier. There's a mobile constructor on it. Um, there's cargo for storage. I can get around a lot quicker and safer. Another iron deposit. We're getting cobalt from these rocks too, which is nice. Did I just drop my drill? That is stupid. And now that I dropped it, I probably got to reset it. And I don't want to waste my ammo killing those things. I'm probably going to need my ammo. Come on, level four. I really want level four. Come on, level four. Getting there, almost. We're in good shape, we're in good shape. That's a pretty big island though. It's probably gonna have a spawn on it. Eh, not that big of a deal, I'll put a fence up.
Well, let's get down there and pick more stuff. Turn a light on. <clears throat> It is awfully close to the other shore there. Eh, that's fine. Almost night time. Okay, it's officially night. And level four, there we go. Okay. I still need lots of food. And I'm actually hungry right now. So let's see if we can find some Akua berries because I don't get food poisoning as often from Akua berries, although now that I said that, I will probably on the very first bite, right? Come on, where's all the Akua berries? Really? Is that fair and root? Nope. Nope, there we go, Akua berries. Hmm. You know what? I do have a lot of biofuel on me. I am going to chop down a couple of trees. We won't need much. One log produces 20 fiber. And one fiber produces like 70 bullets or something, I think. So it's... cut a couple trees down and we'll be fine. We'll be just fine. Now I want to get over to that island. So and time is counting down. Time is counting down. Okay, four wood logs. So now we got seven. I mean, that's quite a bit. <laughs> you wouldn't think so, but it actually is. How's our food doing? Let's eat something. Didn't pick up any corn this time. I do have a corn sprout, though, so that's good. And a little bit more. Uh, I've got that, that... So I didn't pick very much. I need to pick more. I need more. This is not going to do. Hmm. I wonder if there's like seaweed or something under here. We'll use up all our oxygen, but whatever. Nothing, nothing so far. Maybe we're just not deep enough. Oh, we're getting rocks. I can smash that. Okay. We're obviously not deep enough. I heard they re-added seaweed, but eh. And I just upgraded the game too. I just got an update today. So if it if they did it in this lake, it doesn't look like it. Oh right, that just slows you down underwater. <laughs> okay. Okay, 
let's check our map. Are we going the right way? Well, I want to go over to, I mean, those are smaller islands over there. I don't know what our time, it is. Okay, so let's, you know what? Since, since there is no seaweed, let's just get to this island really quick here. And is there anything up here to pick or do anything with? No, this is just a... Oh, that's actually kind of a flat, fat, a really flat spot right here. Hmm. Now, if I run over to there, run across. I don't think I'm going to have time, am I? That looks like a flatter area over here, though. Ooh, rocks. Lots of rocks. Well, I don't see seaweed. That's too bad. I was actually hoping there was going to be seaweed. Because you can turn seaweed into spoiled food right away. Although this is going down deeper and deeper. Let's just check it out real quick here. Ooh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What do I see here? This is stuff. Oh, is that seaweed there? That looks like seaweed. That indeed is. Nice. One seaweed. I think we need more than that to make rotten food, though. Wow, one? And... Okay. Well. Uh... Keeps going down here. I think we're we're going the wrong direction, though. Wow, it keeps going deeper and deeper. Okay, okay. Well, it does get right down in here. Yeah, I don't see anything else, though. I don't see any seaweed. Okay, where are we? Let's head over to the island here up here so we'll just uh, unequip this should get us up oh it was, it was really deep wow Yeah, here we go. This is much better. And it's not too, too big. It might have a spawn on it, but... What I mean by a spawn on it is it might, it might be big enough to actually spawn something. With this biome. That's okay. Okay. Let's smash this rock. Hmm. There's the barrier right there. So that's not bad. I'm going to be up against the barrier. There's the admin. I didn't reveal any other POIs, eh? Wow. Okay. Huh. Well, this is probably just as good a place as any. 
let's get the constructor down. And then, oh, it wants us to make the motorbike constructor. That's fine. Uh, let's get all the rest of the stuff in here. And realistically, what I need to do is I need to convert that core into a starter block. I need to get a whole bunch of concrete going. Let's just put all this stuff in there. I don't need any of this. I'm gonna take a couple of those. Fill our oxygen back up. There we go. Put this down here. Actually, let's resort our. We got no bandages. No. Okay. So let's put that there. Put this here. Put all that. We'll put this down here. Move all this down. Okay. Put that in the constructor. Okay. So place the bike. Really? Whatever. I, I I might as well. What the heck? Okay. And then then mount the bike. So follow marker. Yeah, we don't need to. We don't need to follow the marker to the old base. Wow. <laughs> uh. Let's turn this on, get our gun out. So what we need to do right now is actually get this stuff spinning up. Um, I need to turn this into a starter base. So let's get that going. And then I also need to convert all this stone into stone dust. So we'll get a bunch of that going. And then once it's stoned us, we'll get cement. And once we have cement, we can do concrete blocks. And then once that's built, I can get the other stuff. We'll get all that going. Okay, well, uh, yeah, <laughs> we'd just kind of hang around. You know what? While it's doing that, I do have seven minutes. Should I, I'm going to, let's put my weapon away. I'm just going to swim across here really quick. See if I can pick more, more stuff. gun back out. I shouldn't need it for another for a bit. Oh, there's natives up here. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, get these get everything picked that I can. The seeds just seems a little barren, I guess. Normally I'm used to Akua just stuff everywhere. I probably just haven't found the right spot yet. Yeah. I'm not seeing anything here. I'm not seeing anything to pick. Wow. Nothing. Really? Is that just a rock? That's just a rock. Wow. Okay. This is trying to I'm 
trying to pick as much as possible. I don't remember Akua being this kind of barren. Oh. Is that the Akua? Yeah. That'll be the uh, trading station. They always have lots of colorful lights and stuff on the trading stations. It's like the Vegas Strip or something. Okay. Well, we did pick some more. I got to get back there with five minutes left because it's going to take me a few minutes to... Uh, get a fence up so let's head back let's head back hey guys I'm just taking your berries don't mind me, I'm just, just picking your berries. I have no idea if that's a politically correct term, I'm picking your berries. Maybe. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, that extra little bit will help. Oh, it's a big rock. Okay, let's unequip that. And get moving here. Okay. So, how's it doing? We don't have any concrete blocks yet, but it's plugging away. It's plugging away. What we can do is... Uh, I'm just going to put that in the water down here somewhere. Come on. I don't want to go too far because I don't want to have to use too much resources. Okay. Okay, so let's dig into this a little bit. I just want to be able to protect the, uh, the core, even though it's underwater. If they, if they, they can sometimes see it if you get the right angle. Okay, so which direction do we want this base facing? Let's swim up. I guess it doesn't really matter. So we do. Let's do east, west, north, south. So we'll we'll aim to the east. Uh, 
So we're facing east. Let's get my drone. So it depends on which direction your avatar is facing. It's not your drone, it's your avatar. So let's get that deep in there. Good enough. Okay, so now we've got the base started. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit N and I'm going to connect to base. That way I'll just hit N to get rid of that. Now I can actually put blocks wherever I want as long as I'm within 300 meters of the core. Okay, so. Uh, no concrete yet. And it's taking its time. Getting there. We're getting there. We also got a bunch more kua berries, which is good. Eat some honey. Put that stuff in there. Okay, so we've got a couple of stacks of akua berries. That's good. Excellent. And the concrete's almost done. It'll start producing blocks pretty quick here. So the survival constructor is actually really slow, as you can tell. There we go. Now we're getting some concrete blocks. Okay, 10 of them should be enough for me to figure out how deep this is. I just want to put a block on top of it just to, um, just to hide it even a little bit more. There we go. Okay, now that we've got that somewhat hidden underwater and dug down, what we're going to do is we're going to figure out a height for our base without having to dig too much. So right now we can put a block this high. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Yeah, I won't have to dig out much. Okay, let's do that. Okay. So I'm not sure why, well, let's just, let's just get this going here and support it all later if it needs to be, which it will, that's fine. Put that down, come on. Oops. Get that. Okay. What I should be doing is doing this with the drone. Okay, might have to move my constructor. I will have to move the constructor. That's okay. In the meantime, it can just sit there. Okay. 
Okay. Get more blocks. Okay. And let's keep working at this. And we'll just support it. Come on. Okay. Okay, so let's extend out a little bit more here. like on time two and a half minutes and guaranteed something's going to spawn here it's probably going to be an aggressive dinosaur so okay i don't need to go into the water anymore there let's go here and more And, oops, I need more. I don't have a multi-tool, so if I make mistakes, I got to live with them for a while. I could make a multi-tool, but speed, time is of the essence, and I need to get this done. Okay, so... Okay, well, it seems like it wants to go this way more, so we'll just do it. Okay, whoops. That was too much. Okay, well then we'll just use it. Okay, so let's get this supported, because this is going to be an outer wall. So I want it to be solid all the way down into the ground for structural integrity. Okay. Okay, so... One and a half minutes left before I get ganked. Now, that's a decent size, but it's still got to go back quite a bit more. Get that back too. Can I get, oh crap, really? What are we doing? Okay, so let's get a lot more concrete fired up. Okay, so right now I need to protect myself from predators. I'm going to have to lay down a fence. Come on, right there, thank you. That uh, was, uh, it's okay, I'll just, I'll just go up there with it and then, okay. Go across and get that, okay. 
Okay. Get this area so that stuff can't. You know, should I just, yeah, let's just go like this. Okay, so technically I should be safe from critters at this point. Should be. Now this is quite the jump up. So what I want to do here, because I'll probably have a hangar door out onto the water. Let's do something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. I actually want seven wide. Okay. So that's the size of the hangar door. Okay. So now, I guess what I can do is I can just dig this out a little bit. Just to, just to get it all level. Down. Okay, and it's almost the second day. We'll call it an episode at the end of the at the beginning of the second day here. It's, it's gotten a little long in the tooth, actually. Now, the reason I don't like using the survival base is I've had bad experiences with it getting. Um, Let's switch this to regular. Getting attacked by drones and it not being able to respawn. Now, I don't know if it was a bug in previous versions, but it just, I don't know. The, the pre-constructed bases don't seem to work very well when it comes to defending themselves. Even when you got everything all set up correctly, it just, I don't know. They don't seem to activate until you're like right on top of them and then all of a sudden then they'll start shooting at the drones also omicron the survival base on omicron is pretty much just a red herring because the beginning of day two a patrol vessel shows up okay so let's see what spawns two one. Anything? Anything? Nothing spawned? Ooh, I might get lucky. Maybe this, maybe there is no... See, this looks like a biome area there, so... Hmm. Okay, well... I think we've done pretty good so far. Uh, I will be moving my survival constructor. So what I'm going to do off camera is I'll finish building the walls up on this base and get all the ingots ready, get them into my factory because what I'm going to do is I'm going to be spawning my hover box. So let's send that to the factory. So it's going to cast 188 Iron, 144 copper, and 106 silicone. I have that, no problem. No problem. I'll be able to spawn that in. Okay. So we should be safe here right now. And...
good start. We've got, um, we are now level four. Uh, comfort zone not, minus 10 to 45. Okay, good to know. I'm only in light armor. Yeah. And it could get real hot here. Sometimes it gets hotter than light armor can handle. Sometimes it gets colder. Well, guys, I think we are going to call it here. Um, good start. I think it's a good start. And we've got lots of promethium too, right? Right? Tell me I got... Yeah. Okay. So we're rocking. We're rocking. Oh, it's starting on the uh, iron now. So that's good. We'll get some more cement and blocks made. So, yeah. Yeah, happening. We uh, will let all that spin up and I'll finish off the walls on the base and we'll move this and we'll spawn... We'll get everything ready to spawn the HV and we'll spawn that in next episode. And um, yeah. So here I am, level four, no kills yet, no deaths. And oh, I'm, I've got a zero ping rate to my own computer. Wow, excellent. Okay, guys. I think we will call it here. So if you like this episode, give me a like. If you want to see when the next episode comes out, uh, subscribe and make sure your notifications are turned on for the site. Until then, guys, I hope you have yourselves an awesome day. Ciao for now.